दो तरह की मिस्टेक्स हैं एक तो मेरे एटीट्यूड से रिलेटेड हैं और सेकंड टेक्निकल एग्जाम्स की मिस्टेक्स हैं सो एटीट्यूड वाली में लग, मुझे लगता है ज़्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट है नेवर कल्टिवेट अ कंप्लेनिंग एटीट्यूड जैसे यू में क्या होता है ना वैन यू आर इन साइड देन यू स्टार्ट कंप्लेनिंग अबाउट एवरी पेपर मुश्किल आ रहा है सी सैट टफ बना रहे हैं इतना लेंदी क्यों बनाया मेरे मार्क्स ही नहीं आ रहे मैं तो बेस्ट आंसर लिख रहा हूँ समटाइम्स दीज थिंग्स यू नो स्टॉप योर ग्रोथ आप ग्रो ही नहीं कर रहे हो क्योंकि आप कंप्लेन कर रहे हो एंड यू कल्टिवेट अ लॉट ऑफ नेगेटिविटी इन योर सेल्फ विच डजन रियली हेल्प बिकॉज वो हमसे नहीं बोल रहे हैं कि आप आके एग्जाम लिखो इट्स माई चॉइस एट आई एम राइटिंग दिस एग्जाम राइट सो इधर राइट इट विदाउट कंप्लेनिंग और जस्ट डोंट राइट इट दिस मे साउंड ब्रूटल टू लॉट ऑफ यूल बट दिस इज अ रियलिटी इफ यू आर कंप्लेनिंग अबाउट समथिंग कॉन्स्टेंटली You don't have a right to complain because you have chosen that path yourself. Hmm. You knew it's going to be tough. Hmm. You knew it's going to be demanding, but still you want to do it. So now, if you're doing it, better do it without complaining. Aspirants, a very warm welcome to Chamomile Tea with Topus, an initiative by An Academy. I'm Twinkle Gangwar, your host for today, and we are in conversation with Asad Zubairi. Hi, Asad. Hello. How are you doing? I'm good. Thank you for having me here. Thank you so much for finding out time for us. First of all, so to begin with, I would like to know something about you, your past. Who are you? So, as you said, my name is Asad Zubairi, and uh, I am from Aligarh, which is a town in UP, which is a district in Uttar Pradesh. And uh, I am an engineer. I am a mechanical engineer. I have done my engineering from NIT Allahabad, which is in Pryagraj, in 2019. Uh, then I worked with a with an automobile firm for one and a half years, and I have given this exam two serious attempts and three attempts in total, and I have cracked it in 2022 with a rank of 86. and i have always been targeting indian foreign service so mujhe luckily i am the second last person to get it this year so wow. now i am under training you are under training yeah. so uh, aapne bataya ki aapne engineering kari hai uska aur iska koi relation did it help you matlab if you talk about curriculum to mm-hmm. to nahi hai relation utna mm-hmm. but um, i feel like engineering uh, tak pahunchne ke liye i had to crack je mm-hmm. so you get this knack of uh, cracking the exam you know so wo maine similar strategies apply kari thi for in upsc as well which somehow worked for me mm-hmm. and also i feel like currently regardless of what whichever service you are in mm-hmm. uh, you are required to have certain uh, sort of technical you know mindset orientation which will help you uh, in this service so i think wo engineering se ek aata hai but if you see a direct correlation then you may not find it but i think it will come handy somewhere down somewhere down there yeah और सो so, आपने जैसे बताया आपका पहला अटैम्प्ट था दूसरा अटैम्प्ट था या थर्ड अटैम्प्ट सो इस जर्नी में कई बार डीमोटिवेटेड फील हुआ होगा कि यू नो इट डेंट हैपन एट द फर्स्ट टाइम देन एट द सेकंड टाइम क्योंकि आप लोग यूजुअली uh, उन लोगों को मोटिवेशन लेके चलते हैं उन लोगों को इंस्पिरेशन लेके चलते हैं वो क्रैक डेट इन वन गो राइट दैट्स हाउ इट गोस सो हाउ डिड यू कीप योरसेल्फ मोटिवेटेड एंड हाउ डिड यू गो थ्रू दैट जर्नी कैसे अपने आप को हर बार खड़ा किया सो फॉर मी इट वाज ऑलवेज लाइक सो आई केम इन दिस सर्किट keeping three attempts in my mind theek hai chhe attempt to kabhi dene ka scene nahi tha mera because i was already working hmm. and i thought the best i can do is ki take a two and a half three years off and if it doesn't work out i'll go back and work and this was my third attempt so i did not even apply for the next one if you know that jo hum log ka result aane wala hota hai usse pehle next year ka form aa jata hai okay so usually people apply it ha, before okay. but i was done so i did not apply this year hmm. so mere dimag mein teen attempt the first one i would not count it even as an attempt because i was not prepared at all i was working i had left i quit my job 2 3 months before prelims hmm. so wo to chala gaya uske baad asli kaam shuru hua uh, second one i missed it just by 6 marks i gave interview in my second attempt wow. i had cleared prelims mains and they then gave interview so tab you know you have this sort of a realization ki aapke approach aapke reach mein aa gaya exam hmm. because you know some tweaks here and there and you are in in so when i felt that honestly i'll tell you because jab aap interview dekhe aate ho na and then you realize that you're not selected so a, a major part of your heart tells you ke nahi ho, ho raha because you feel like everything is going against you like the world is against you so you don't really want to give it again 
but i had i have i was lucky enough to get uh, to have a very nice group of friends who also did not get selected like did not get through <laughs> with me so wo three dates all difference hai na ki when sab ek sath fail hote hain so you have someone to pick you up sab ne ek dusre ko sath mein uthaya so me dwij shubhratosh aradhna and madhav these five people all of us were giving interview in 2021 and i still remember the result day it was uh, may 30th i think Yeah. So I my interview wow. was May twenty three, two thousand twenty two, and uh, and result date was thirtieth May because my interview was towards the end. Hmm. And by that time, all four of my friends were already done with their interviews, so they had time to you know recapitulate, and then they were preparing for prelims. I was the only one who had not read a single page for prelims again, though I had applied for my third attempt. So we were Google Meet pe saath na bethe bethe, and we were actually looking at each other and talking, and suddenly PDF aagi. Take a result di. So we opened it live. Sorry, we opened it live, and none of us were there. ठीक है किसी का नाम नहीं था. All five were out. So initially, तो एक वो एक dejection वाला feel होता है कि नहीं ऐसा. And I thought that this cannot be the list. So I was contemplating because उस time क्या होता है ना a lot of fake lists are also uh, released. So I thought ये list नहीं है. And I thought that के नहीं होगा. Then I checked, but वही list थी ultimately. So all you know, all five of them. Uh, All all five of us they helped me prepare again. Then five days later, next prelims started, so we got through. And then I realized when I cleared prelims again that this is my last chance. So I gave it everything again wow. because I knew that this time, who or not who, at least I'm out of the circuit. Hmm. Because getting out of UPSC circuit was more important to me. Uh, मतलब selection के साथ if you get out, it's nothing better than that. Of course. And then also when you get the service that you want, but still like that, just getting out of this loop in, in itself is a relief. So for me. It, this was the redemption. Okay, this time I'll give everything, and then I'll not attempt not, it again. Not again. So, ye, jab aapke pas ek job thi, aapke pas ek sorted life tha, sab kuch chal raha tha. How did you switch to UPSC? Kab aapke andar wo ek fire aaya ki yes, I want to do this. So, uh, for me, uh, getting into Indian Foreign Service was a dream, very early. Hmm. But by the time I reached college, I realized that this is not something that I can do because I was not studying enough. ज्यादा नहीं था इन वर्ल्ड आई मीन इन कॉलेज आई वॉज मोर ऑफ अ गाय हुई फाइंड यू नो प्रोबली प्लेइंग गिटार और सम वेयर ड्राम्स और यू नो डूइंग ऑल सॉर्ट्स ऑफ फन एक्टिविटीज गोइंग ऑन ट्रिप्स एक्सेट्रा बट नॉट स्टडिंग इन अ लाइब्रेरी सो दिस वॉज नॉट ऑन द कार्ड्स टिल द कॉलेज वॉज एंडिंग बट फाइनली रहते आते नो आई रियलाइज के आई नीड टू डू समथिंग गुड माई लाइफ सो तब ऐसा हुआ था कि आई रियल आई वॉन्टेड टू राइट दिस एग्जाम बट वेन आई विल डू दैट आई डिड नॉट नो सो क्या हुआ था वेन आई वेंट फॉर माई जॉब आई सडनली यू नो आई बिलीव इन डेस्टिनी दैट सर्टन थिंग्स हैपन इन योर लाइफ इन अ सर्टन वे टू पुश यू टू वर्ड्स अ सर्टन डायरेक्शन सो इनिशियली आई ऑल्सो वॉन्टेड टू जॉइन द इंडियन एयरफोर्स ठीक है सो ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन में आई हैड क्लियर दिस रिटर्न एग्जाम्स एंड आई वेंट फॉर एस एस बी आई गॉट थ्रू द इनिशियल राउंड दैन आई वॉज कॉन्फ्रेंस राउंड द लास्ट डे सो so, वो खत्म हो गया ठीक है एंड देन आई वॉज लाइक अब क्या नेक्स्ट थिंग सो आई थॉट यू पी एस सी करेंगे सो द प्रोफाइल ऑन विच आई वॉज हायर्ड इन माई कंपनी समथिंग हैपन एंड दे चेंज माई प्रोफाइल टू समथिंग दैट आई वॉज नॉट लाइकिंग एट ऑल सो आई कम्प्लीटली गोट डिसकनेक्टेड फ्रॉम माई वर्क एंड फिर कोविड आ गया था सो आई थिंक मेरी प्रिपरेशन में एक बहुत बड़ा रोल लॉकडाउन का भी है इन सेंस के बिकॉज आई वॉज नॉट सम वन हू कैन एक्चुअली लॉक हिम सेल्फ अप एंड प्रिपेयर एंड स्टडी बट वैन एवरी वन वॉज लॉक सो आई वॉज ऑल्सो लॉक्ड and i started preparing and tab ja ke i think uh, i got into the groove of prepare, preparation so transition over the long period of time hua hmm. and i think wo transition ka basic jo uh, funda tha was dissatisfaction with what i was doing and wanting to do something better for myself and my family i think that was a major thing that was your why yeah. that you did upsc partly yes also i realized that you know these are one of the best careers that you can opt for if you want to work for the government hmm. so i and being a diplomat being an indian diplomat the only way you can get it is through this exam so hmm. i literally had no choices if you want to do this then aap exam likh ke nikalo that's all so i think that was the why for me also there's one more point i feel like in india for a lower middle class family or a person the fastest that you can take your family over a you know social ladder or financial ladder is upsc here मतलब बिजनेस से भी आप कर सकते हैं बट फॉर दैट ऑल्सो यू नीड सर्टन काइंड ऑफ कैपिटल एंड स्टफ राइट बट दिस इज वन एग्जाम दैट 
डजेंट मैटर दैट दैट डजेंट सी कि आपका फाइनेंशियल बैकग्राउंड क्या है आपका पेरेंट्स का बैकग्राउंड क्या है दे इट ओनली रिस्पेक्ट हार्ड वर्क सो आई फाउंड इट एज समथिंग दैट यू नो आई कैन फिगर आउट एंड डू माई सेल्फ सो दैट वॉज द आंसर सो माई नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन टू यू इज हाउ डू यू अप्रोच फॉर प्रिलिम्स सो यू हैव टू सब्जेक्ट्स इन दैट and i would like you to actually you know give me details of both the subject and how you prepared for it what okay. were your aim and what is the subject you know what is the syllabus you think is hmm. important and the books that you refer to okay. for prelims so as you said there are two papers right paper 1 and paper 2 paper 2 is csat hmm. we'll come that to that later paper 1 is general studies hmm. one in which you get all sorts of questions some people uh, jokingly say ke and everything under the sun is a syllabus <laughs> or actually prelims are syllabus are bahut loosely defined hai uh, that is different from mains mains mein bahut specifically defined syllabus hai so in prelims um, what how to go about is ke aapke paas alag alag subjects hain like mm-hmm. you have history ab history mein bhi different parts hain ancient medieval modern history post independence uh, is not usually included in uh, prelims it comes in mains then you have polity then you have geography then you have economics okay then current affairs is there so all these subjects inke sub parts honge na you will find you will have to find a source for all this mm. so for example if i start with history so for ancient history i read ncert rs sharma old ncert padhi thi medieval ke liye satish chandra ki old ncert padhi thi then modern history ke liye there's a very famous book called spectrum okay so i also read that book uh and iske baad i was done with my basic so prelims mein kya hota hai na all these basic books you read them and you get done with them mm. and then you start practicing the questions mm. so what i would say for example history ho gaya so apne history ki basic books pad li mm. now you go and attempt subject wise test okay you can get it from uh, the coaching institute where you wherever you are or elsewhere you attempt those tests theek hai and while you are attempting you start reading the next subject for example polity ho gayi so mm-hmm. you read lakshmikant mm-hmm. there is a proper list of basic books that everyone has to go through mm-hmm. and once you are done with that you attempt uh, these papers or in papers ko attempt karo fir see where you are going wrong mm-hmm. and then read the solutions properly so i think prelims is more about reading the basics repeating them as much as you can and solving as many mock tests as you can for example dono attempt milaunga agar cs wale so i have i've solved more than 80 90 tests i think wow so that is important because you need to orient your mind according to the multiple choice questions and how to go about them and what about csat csat mein um, so csat abhi it it's acting like you know one of the biggest demons for students because it acts as an eliminating factor i know so many friends of mine who managed to clear um, the gs1 yes. cut off hmm. but they were not able to get the 66.67 marks that you get in csat hmm. so to csat personally was not a big uh, hurdle for me because mera 11 12th mein maths maine liye rakha tha fir uh, engineering mein when you go in so hamare na campus placement ke test hote hain usme bhi aptitude hmm. aata hai so i had already prepared there hmm. बट इट वॉज गेटिंग इंक्रीजिंगली टफ फॉर एग्जाम्पल ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन में जो मेरे मार्क्स थे ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू में आई स्कोर एटलीस्ट फोर्टी फिफ्टी मार्क्स लेस दैन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन इन सी सैट द रीजन वॉज दैट द टफनेस इज इंक्रीजिंग डे बाई डे सो आई वुड से दे इज नो वन एज ऑफ नाउ हु कैन एक्चुअली सेफली से दैट आई डोंट हैव टू प्रिपेयर सी सैट एंड सेट आई कैन क्लियर इट सो यू हैव टू प्रिपेयर सी सैट गिवन दैट नाउ सी सैट में ना अलग अलग पार्ट्स आते हैं जैसे फॉर एग्जाम्पल you can talk about mathematics jisme aapka class 10 tak ki normal maths aati hai then there is logic mm-hmm. logic ke questions honge uh, uske baad english ke reading comprehension honge mm-hmm. now isme mistake kya karte hain log people say ki main ek section acche se karke jaunga i'll solve all the questions from there aur baaki section mein chhod dunga and i'll still clear six, six marks that used to work ek time pe abhi nahi kaam karta wo because they started making these sections very tough so you cannot be sure that you are, you will be able to solve One. those question with 100% accuracy hmm. so my two cents on it take all these three sections or four sections seriously prepare for each one of them theek hai jo aap mock test lagao hmm. previous year questions lagao then you find the kind of question for example c set mein na type of questions hota hai jaise hmm. uh, logic mein you will find a lot of question jaise round table de diya a ke paas b baitha hai b ke hmm. across c baitha hai so these type of question had they, they all have a certain given solution hmm. how to so youtube karke you can find the solution so as if you have multiple iteration of mock test lagaoge na you will come across a list of a lot of questions which you are not able to solve unko youtube pe dekh ke find 
uh, it's a solution make notes of it mm-hmm. and then give equal amount of time to all these three things when you are actually writing the exam too all right moving next to uh, next to prelims is mains right mm. and mains has around seven subjects yes yes so which was your language seven papers seven papers yes yeah. plus two uh, compulsory papers yeah all right what what was your language subject my language subject was english yeah english hindi english english and hindi yeah. okay so we would like to have some light on that how did you prepare for the english the languages and for all the other papers okay so starting from language um english mein to there was i did not have major issue and bahut easy paper aate hain hmm hmm so aapko language paper ke ko banaya pass karne ke liye jata hai all right theek hai you should have this basic functional knowledge of it hmm so uh, english ke liye i did not prepare If there's someone who is facing some uh, issue with English, they should go back to previous year question paper. Nothing else. Mm-hmm. Hindi ke liye I again went to previous year question paper, or usme se you know you get all sorts of parayvachi and mm-hmm. uh, shabd se sentence banao, sentence ko matlab vakke ko ap shud karo. Mm-hmm. So ye chizhe previous year question se solve karlo because they usually repeat these questions. Mm-hmm. So maine sir previous year question kya tha isme? और वहाँ पे ना रीडिंग कॉम्पिटेशन इतने इजी आते हैं दैट यू गेट 15 मार्क्स फॉर जस्ट राइटिंग लाइक अ फाइव लाइन आंसर बिकॉज दे वांट यू टू पास दिस एग्जाम सो इट यूजुअली वर्क्स आउट वेरी इजीली सो फॉर मी इट जस्ट वर्क आउट विद प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन आई डिड नॉट प्रिपेयर सेपरेटली फॉर लैंग्वेज पेपर्स कमिंग टू माई ऑप्शनल पेपर माई ऑप्शन वॉज एंथ्रोपोलॉजी एंड आई वुड जस्ट स्ट्रेस ऑन दिस फैक्ट दैट अनलेस यू आर स्कोरिंग वेल इन योर ऑप्शनल यू मे नॉट बी एबल टू गेट योर सर्विस सो यू हैव टू प्रिपेयर इट वेरी वेरी वेल यू हैव टू बी वेरी थर ओवर दट these two papers are the only papers that are in your control that if you have prepared them well you are bound to get a good score hmm, hmm, so hmm. for me it was normal i did not take any coaching for any of these papers neither the gs nor the optional i just took a test series in uh, for my anthropology so i prepared with basic books i made my own notes note making is extremely important when it comes to all the papers so, as well as optional option. for me सो ऑप्शन के लिए आप नोट्स बनाओ फिर यू नो कीप रिपीटिंग इट एज मेनी नंबर ऑफ टाइम्स दैट इज द प्रिपरेशन पार्ट देन राइट एज मेनी पेपर्स एज यू कैन बिकॉज इफ यू आर स्कोरिंग वेल इन दीज टू पेपर्स देन बी श्योर दैट यू कैन एक्चुअली बी इन द लिस्ट इफ यू आर कम्प्लीटिंग ऑल अदर पेपर्स सो दैट इज एन ऑप्शनल आई थिंक आई कैन गो ऑन स्पीकिंग अबाउट ऑप्शनल बट आई विल कीप इट अल शॉर्ट बिकॉज दिस वीडियो इज नॉट स्पेसिफिकली फॉर एंथ्रोपोलॉजी टॉकिंग अबाउट माई जी एस प्रिपरेशन सो जी एस फोर इज समथिंग दैट वॉज रियली क्लोज टू माई हार्ट एथिक्स का पेपर and i ended up getting good scores in ethics and essay paper because mm-hmm. of which i could get the rank that i am mm-hmm. uh so i would strongly suggest everyone watching this that please do prepare your ethics and essay well because this is going to land you your service mm-hmm. so ethics ke liye i would just say ki basic definitions ki ek aap notes bana lo and get it you can get it from a lot of books jaise people used to use lexicon i use lexicon there are different sources that people can refer to वहाँ से आप बेसिक नोट्स बना लो डेफिनेशन के देन रीड न्यूज़ पेपर्स न्यूज़ पेपर से यू कैन चर्न आउट अ लॉट ऑफ केस स्टडीज अ लॉट ऑफ एग्जांपल्स दैट यू कैन कोट इन योर एथिक्स का पेपर बिकॉज एथिक्स पेपर इज ऑल अबाउट अंडरस्टैंडिंग अ सर्टेन एथिकल कॉन्सेप्ट फाइंडिंग इट रेलिवेंस इन पब्लिक सर्विस एंड देन साइटिंग एक्चुअल एग्जाम्पल वेयर इट इज बींग इम्प्लीमेंटेड सो ये तीन मतलब तीन पोस्ट uh, का जो चेन होता है ना एथिक्स में अंडरस्टैंडिंग द कॉन्सेप्ट finding it relevant in services and then quoting an example ji agar aap match kar loge you will get a good score in ethics also i would say ethics to make an answer make answers a little more um essay like matlab it is a different paper from other gs papers so some answers i did not used to write in point hmm. like gs mein sare mein point wise likhta tha but ethics mein kuch paragraph mein bhi likhta tha quote a lot of people i used to quote philosophers hmm. i used to quote um something you know i have quoted harish vans rai bachchan ji also one of his wow. poems so ye cheeze aap kar sakte ho i think ethics give you a lot of space to be creative creative and you are very creative i try, yeah. i i read a lot so i just feel like aap agar padhte rahoge na because i always ask people ki upsc mein na itna zyada padhte ho aap but uske around bhi padhte rehna chahiye like keep reading some some book because that is going to help you in ethics as well as essay paper talking about gs 1 2 3 so 1 2 3 mein प्रिलिम्स का जो पार्ट है वो बुक सबको करनी करनी है इसके अलावा यू हैव स्पेसिफिक ऑफ टॉपिक्स फॉर एवरी पेपर विच आर नॉट इंक्लूडिंग द प्रिलिम्स सिलेबस बट वो मेन के सिलेबस में आता है उसके लिए मैंने अलग से नोट्स बनाए थे एंड उसके लिए यू कैन फाइंड वाई वैल्यू एडेड मटीरियल जो कि मार्केट में अवेलेबल है ऑनलाइन अवेलेबल है हर टॉपिक के लिए यू कैन सर्च दैट अप एंड यू कैन मेक योर ओन नोट फॉर एग्जाम्पल 
जी एस वन की अगर बात करूँ मैं सो जी एस वन में यू हैव टॉपिक्स लाइक सोसाइटी है ठीक है अब इसका आपको प्रिलिम्स में नहीं मिलेगा कॉन्टेंट यू विल हैव टू रीड सोसाइटी प्रॉपरली मेक योर ओन नोट्स ठीक है जोग्राफी में कुछ पार्ट वर्ल्ड जोग्राफी का आता है दैट यू हैव टू सॉल्व योर सेल्फ मेक योर ओन नोट्स हिस्ट्री में भी एंड आर्ट एंड कल्चर में आप प्रिलिम्स की तरह नहीं पढ़ सकते इसको बिकॉज नाउ देर आस्क गोइंग टू आस्क यू सब्जेक्टिव क्वेश्चन सो यू हैव टू रीड एन लिटिल मोर डिटेल फॉर एग्जाम्पल नितिन सिंह गानी एज अ बुक दैट आर लॉट ऑफ पीपल रेफर टू मैंने नहीं करी थी आई रेफर टू एन अदर नोट्स मेड बाई नितिन सांगवान सर फ्रॉम नितिन सिंह गानिया सो बिकॉज आई वॉन्टेड टू रीड लेस एंड प्रोड्यूस मोर सो मैंने ये किया था सो आई वुड से कि सोसाइटी हो गया जी एस टू में अगर आओगे आप तो बेसिक पॉलिटी तो आप लक्ष्मीकांत से पढ़ने वाले हो फिर गवर्नेंस हो गया ठीक है यूज वैल्यू एडेड मटीरियल कोर्ट एज मैनी नंबर ऑफ स्कीम्स एज यू कैन कलेक्ट एज मैनी नंबर ऑफ केस स्टडीज फ्रॉम न्यूज पेपर एज यू कैन कनेक्ट दैम विद द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ गवर्नेंस एंड देन कोर्टेड इन एग्जाम पेपर कलेक्ट एज मेनी फैक्ट्स एज यू कैन गवर्नमेंट स्कीम से कितना इंप्लीमेंट हो गया कितना बचा हुआ है बिकॉज दीज थिंग्स मैटर एट जनरल डे जी एस में अगर आप जनरल उसका नाम जनरल स्टडीज है अगर आप उसके पॉइंट जनरल लिखोगे तो आपको मार्क्स जनरल से कम मिलेंगे सही में पता है आपको इट्स मतलब आई जस्ट फील लाइक जितना स्पेसिफिक क्वेश्चन लिखोगे जितना स्पेसिफिक पॉइंट लिखोगे यू गोइंग टू गेट एज मेनी नंबर ऑफ मार्क्स सो जी एस टू में और सोशल जस्टिस है ऑल दीज थिंग्स data matter a lot mm-hmm. and value added material matter a lot mm-hmm. so i would always recommend ke aap wahan se karo international relations ke liye uh, pavneet singh sir ki ek book aati hai ir pe mm-hmm. usko selectively read kiya tha maine wow. then i uh, enriched it with my uh, main 365 aata hai and you know all the other things that you get compilations usse aap enrichment kar lo mm-hmm. so i think this is general strategy sources abhi main list karta reh sakta hu but mm-hmm. everyone know them so my only two senses ke read your newspapers well mm-hmm. because i read my newspaper well and i extracted a lot of examples and case studies from the newspapers mm-hmm. for example um, i can give you an example of uh, ek uh, ek women sg ne kahin pe kuch kaam kiya tha in mm-hmm. which uh, some women they learned to make carpets using banana stem okay oh. so this was sort of a circular economic example mm-hmm. in which you are using a organic product a waste organic product hmm. to produce another product and then sell it off hmm. ab maine ye case study utha ke apne notes mein dal li hmm. now i can use them in women sg question theek hai wow. in gs1 society i can use them in gs3 environment because hmm. i am using you know this is a circular economy i can use them at multiple places and i used to map these case studies in my head ke maine kahan kahan use kar sakta hu so wow. again i used to work less बट यूज द सिमिलर थिंग्स ओवर डिफरेंट पेपर्स स्मार्ट वर्क सो मेरे साथ ऐसा हुआ होगा कि कई बार ना इफ यू फाइंड माई यू पी एस सी पेपर तो जी एस टू और जी एस थ्री में मैंने सिमिलर चीजें कोड करी होंगी बार बार सो यू गिवन टू इंटरव्यूज यू वुड लाइक टू नो द एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ बोथ इंटरव्यूज एंड हाउ टू अप्रोच दर्स्ट इंटरव्यू फर्स्ट इंटरव्यू है पीक ऑफ कोविड नाइनटीन ठीक है एंड मेरे जो बोर्ड चेयरमैन थे He just came after recovering from COVID. Oh. उसके दो दिन बाद आए थे वो इंटरव्यू लेने एंड देन ही रिटायर्ड सो आई वॉज प्रोबली दास्ट लास्ट फ्यू कैंडिडेट्स टू गेट इंटरव्यू बाई हम एंड आई वॉज वेरिंग अ शील्ड एंड अ मास्क इन साइड तो वो इंटरव्यू बहुत वियर्ड था बिकॉज दे कूड नॉट इवन सी माई फेस एंड ऑल आई वॉन्टेड के आर एटलीस्ट अंटिल अनलेस यू कैन एक्चुअली सी एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ अ पर्सन यू कैन नॉट टेल वॉट ही सी इज टॉकिंग अबाउट राइट सो कुछ भी मतलब आई जस्ट ट्राई टू बी एज एक्सप्रेसिव एज आई कुड बाई डूइंग वॉइस मॉड्यूशन बट आई कुड नॉट आई एम वेरी एक्सप्रेसिव वैन यू सी माई फेस बट यू इफ यू कॉन्ट सी माई फेस आई डोंट आई हार्डली मेक एनी सेंस सो आई वॉज ट्राइंग टू टॉक और उसमें एक और चीज होती है ना मेरे शीट लगा हुआ था एंड आई कुड हेयर माई ओन वॉइस बिकॉज से रिफ्लेक्ट हो रही थी शीट से सो मुझे पता नहीं मैं कितना लाउड बोला था एंड आई रियलाइज प्रोबली आई वॉज एक्चुअली शाउटिंग इन साइड द रूम और समथिंग सो इट वॉज अ वियर्ड इंटरव्यू वेरी टेक्निकल क्वेश्चन एंड मेरा फॉरन सर्विस प्रेफरेंस है so they asked me some questions on china ir and stuff so there was this uh, member she was sitting right here it na it was a small room okay she was sitting mm. right here mm. and she was just sitting and looking at me oh. so you can actually you know even when you're talking to other people you can see someone is looking at you <laughs> so i was getting so conscious and when finally the puck was passed to her mm. to ask the questions she looked at me and she's like i don't want to ask anything i'm done and i realized कि यार मैंने ऐसा क्या कर दिया दैट शी ऑलरेडी मेड हर मेड अप हर माइंड दैट शी डज नॉट टू आस्क अ क्वेश्चन आई डिड नॉट गेट अ वेरी गुड स्कोर आई गॉट लाइक 165 व्हिच वाज नॉट अ वेरी बैड स्कोर बट देन नॉट अ गुड स्कोर सो दिस वाज माय फर्स्ट इंटरव्यू कहानी आई डिड नॉट गेट थ्रू बाय द बाय द वे माय इफ आई हैड 
स्कोर्ड बेटर देन आई वुड हैव गॉट गेट इन टू लिस्ट विद आई थिंक पुलिस सर्विस और समथिंग एंड देन मैं प्रिपेयर करना छोड़ देता बिकॉज़ आई डिड नॉट हैव स्ट्रेंथ टू गो फॉर इट अगेन बट हैपेंड फॉर गुड आई वांटेड फॉरेन सर्विस दिस ईयर आई हैड अ लेडी मेंबर बोर्ड चेयरमैन बोर्ड एंड सो इंटरव्यू में ना एक चीज क्या होती है व्हेन यू आर सिटिंग आउटसाइड द इंटरव्यू रूम राइट एक बंदे का अंदर अंदर इंटरव्यू चल रहा है एंड यू आर सिटिंग आउटसाइड and you are just doing nothing you are waiting for your name to be you know for that guy to come and call you inside your heart is pounding you are breathing heavily because kya hota hai na us time aapne jitna taiyari kiya jitna mains likha jitna bhi bolega sab kuch aapke dimag mein culminate kar raha hai ki now it's the last step that you have to take Absolutely. and you have to appear as calm as as you can mm-hmm. given that you are as anxious as you have ever been so <laughs> it's a tough job but then um this year it was um, it was sort of funny for me so i went inside and i sat ab ma'am ne question puchna uh, start kiya and ma'am is very you know known for asking a very taking a very candid in- interview okay. she doesn't go in a lot of details so i was happy that i got her board and uh, a very good friend of mine got a really nice score uh, from her 2 years back so i relate to him so i was like hum log similar se hain to hame acha score milega so i didn't score as good as he did but i scored well this year hmm. so normal questions but isme an interesting part aaya tha when uh, so i used to write a lot of blogs on kora so that was liter- that was written in my daf form so she asked me about it and my blog was called as chai biscuit theek hai ye mere blog ka naam tha so she asked me why chai biscuit and why not chai biscuit because it's a biscuit hmm. so wo bahut interesting conversation was start hua about regional languages and you know dialects of language and fir she asked me what was the last blog that you wrote so mere college ke paas na ek tea shop owner hai he is called bansi bhaiya so i wrote a few articles called as bansi bhaiya chronicles okay so i spent like my four years of my college life there and he had a very interesting things to tell me so main unko translate kar deta tha in a very interesting sort of a write up and i used to put them out so 10 minutes of my interview two members were all about him <laughs> so I could not have imagined or prepared for it, right? That yes, my absolutely. interview will be about him. So interview is so random that you cannot uh, possibly, you know, predict what you will ask, what will not be. So I would say interview clean. So at least you can be very sure that you have not, nothing much in your hand. The personality is what you will see there. You just, cannot fake it. Yeah. Just be yourself. Yeah, yeah. Be yourself. Answer questions. Have originality in thought. I'll again say this. Do not try to. Um, sugar coat your statement to not try to find a middle path everywhere mm-hmm. if you have a certain view it may be a very unpopular view mm-hmm. but surely not you know something that is against the the government completely against the government something that that is not of course fine mm-hmm. but you can have a different opinion Absolutely. if you have reasons to believe in that opinion mm-hmm. they will respect it and they will find you better than a candidate who is just sugar coating his answers to please them please them mm-hmm. because they know that it hardly matters what i think right now hmm. but if i should if i should have reasons to something to believe in something so i think that, that originality of thought is what they're looking for at least that's what i feel lovely so your second interview when you left the room what was your feeling it was bad bhai <laughs> something very funny happened so um kya tha na it was a huge door like do, matlab proper floor se lekar ke na roof tak ka door tha wooden door proper colonial door tha सो so, जब मैं अंदर जा रहा था द राइट फ्लैप वॉज ओपन ओके सो वो जो वहाँ पे वो होते हैं ना जो वहाँ पे हेल्पर होते हैं ही ओपन द डोर फॉर मी आई वेंट इन साइड आई डिड नॉट गिव अटेंशन कि वो राइट वाला खोला था या उसने लेफ्ट वाला खोला था बिकॉज वन ऑफ देम वॉज लॉक लॉक मैं अंदर जाके बैठ गया आई गिव इंटरव्यू आई वॉज हैप्पी अच्छा इंटरव्यू हुआ है आई गॉट अप आई साइड मूविंग आउट और फिर मैंने ना जो लॉक था उस वाले डोर पर पकड़े खींचा एंड इट स्टार्ट वाइब्रेटिंग सो वो नीचे से ऊपर तक वाइब्रेट कर रहा था इट वॉज क्रिएटिंग ह्यूज साउंड के पूरा मतलब पूरे रूम में ना गूंज रही थी आवाज उसकी सो मैं निकल गया था आई टर्न अराउंड नो वन वॉज लुकिंग एट मी सो आई थॉट दैट दे यू नो दे इग्नोर्ड इट और समथिंग बट देन आई क्लोज द डोर एंड आई रियलाइज मैंने क्या कर दिया इट वॉज सच अस इंटरव्यू एंड आई वॉज बीटिंग माई सेल्फ अप फॉर अ वीक आफ्टर दैट बट इट डजेंट मैटर एंड यू नो दैट दो थिंग्स डोंट मैटर बिकॉज दे ऑल्सो नो दैट यू आर एंक्शियस राइट दे हैव बीन इन द सेम चेयर some 30 40 years before mm-hmm. ago so it was a funny experience for me but it turned out all all ended well so i am but i think happy. after you got to know that the lady who's going to interview 
has already interviewed a friend of yours. Yeah. So you were comfortable. I was very that. comfortable. Yeah. yeah, that made you comfortable. Yes. There, there has to be one point which actually gives you some sense of calmness and then you go yes. like, yeah, chalo. So when you walk inside, na, uske baad toh, you are all fine because they make you very comfortable. They do. They, they ask me, what did you eat breakfast mein kya khaya to, aaj? Uh, How was it? Did you have tea? Do you want something? Should we get you tea, biscuits, something? So they make you very comfortable because they know the kind of work that you have put in and they yes. know that you don't want to, you know, spoil it. Hmm. So they know that you are anxious. So they are very mindful of it. They're good people. They want to talk to you. Yeah. We so, look forward to it. So they're aware that you've given three attempts. They are aware of everything, right? Your past marks and everything. Yes. Not the, not the UPSC marks, hmm. but they ask for how many attempts they gave. They ask roll number. Mangte hai, so we don't know unke samne hai kya still yeah. we don't know the kind of sheet that they were, they have we just prepare our devs and go certainly devs se kuch kuch hoga hmm. but we don't know exactly kya hai unke paas okay so um, i would like you to list down the most important part of preparing so the most important topics and the part that you think is necessary to score good in upsc the best okay. and the most important three things according to you essay ethics ये बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है बिकॉज यू कैन एक्चुअली स्कोर रियली वेल इन दिस एग्जाम एंड दे आर द मोस्ट निगलेक्टिक पेपर्स कि ऐसे तो कोई भी लिख लेगा लोग सोचते हैं कि जाके मैं पहली बार जाके दो ऐसे लिखूंगा और दे दो द बेस्ट ऐसे ऑफ माई लाइफ ऐसा नहीं होगा सो आई थिंक ऐसे पे फोकस करना जरूरी है एथिक्स पे फोकस करना जरूरी है एंड ऑप्शनल पे जरूरी है इफ यू आर नॉट डूइंग दीज थ्री पेपर्स वेल देन इट बी टफ टू मेक दैट कट इन द लिस्ट बिकॉज टू गेट योर सर्विस यू हैव टू मेक दैट कट so i think you should focus on this essay mein in sense especially i would just say preparation utna matter nahi karta jitna practice matter karta hai and people don't write essays main is bar full length kitna no paper kuch practice hi honge that amounts to 18 essays just between prelims and mains usse pehle i used to write two essays every alternate week okay because 3 ghante mein apne dimag se 2400 sensible words nikalna coherently is not an easy job so i would just urge everyone who's watching this that start writing essays do not wait for the good time upsc mein sabse bura kya hota hai na we wait for the time jab mera ye taiyar ho jayega tab main ye karunga lekin wo taiyar hota hi nahi hai na last day tak because hmm. syllabus is so huge hmm. so things like essay you can start writing essay even now when you start preparing your essay may not be as rich in information as someone else but at least it will give you the knack of writing 1200 sensible words in 3 hours right hmm. in one and a half hour hmm. so that's the only advice i want to give for it ethics mein maine already bata diya but be is very sure these three pillars of essay ethics and optional okay. should work in your favor all right so uh, you were working you said you were working and at that time you could not prepare well so there are certain mistakes that you made so there are so many people who are working and they're still preparing for these exams so what are the things that you think are very important when you're having a job Hmm. and you want to prepare as well so kya cheeze hain jo you think that you made mistakes that other people should not while working right hmm. so mere sath kya hota na my job was very much demanding in sense that it required me physical pre- 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 presence there i was not in an it industry hmm. ke main ghar pe kaam kar sakta hu and i can you know thoda thoda pad sakta hu so i had to be on the project side so by the time i used to come back also i used to cook for myself so oh. वो यू फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल पीपल हु आर वर्किंग दे शुड रियलाइज दैट दे डू हैव लेस टाइम एज कम्पेयर टू अदर्स वर नॉट वर्किंग सो दे हैव टू डू सम थिंग्स डिफरेंट टू मेक टू मेक अप फॉर द टाइम दैट दे डोंट हैव सो आप स्मार्ट वर्क जैसे मैंने आपको बताया ना कि आप एक चीज पढ़ रहे हो ना इट कैन यूज एट फाइव प्लेसेज एंड डू नॉट थिंक जब वो यूज केस आएगा तब मैं इसको रिफर करूंगा आप उसको रिफर करके अपने यूज केस बनाओ मतलब इफ यू हैव अ केस स्टडी आप उससे पांच यूज केस बनाओ जैसे एंथ्रोपोलॉजी में मैं ये करता था सो फॉर एग्जांपल एंथ्रोपोलॉजी व्हाट मैटर्स अ लॉट इज दैट इफ यू हैव रेलिवेंट केस स्टडीज रेलिवेंट एग्जांपल्स रेलिवेंट डायग्राम्स अब वो केस स्टडी एंथ्रोपोलॉजी की मल्टीपल टॉपिक में यूज हो सकती है सो चार्ट देम आउट नाउ एंड देन जब वो टॉपिक आएगा तो यूर ब्रेन कैन मेक दैट कनेक्शन सो दैट इज स्मार्ट वर्क अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट आई मीन इवन इफ यू आर वर्किंग you should give 4 hours 4 to 5 hours every day minimum that's a bare minimum so what i used to do is ke main bus mein jata tha so i used to read my newspaper in the bus i used to um, wahan pe jab tea breaks hote the lunch hota tha so i used to you know make online notes in that so constantly even when you're working upsc is somewhere behind your mind yeah. ke main itna newspaper khatam kar lu itna ye kar lu itna compilation pad lu and you're always working on it and i would say if you're deciding to leave your job 
first test yourself test your waters for a 3 4 months by doing what i did that even if you are you know giving in 3 to 4 hours after a 8 hour long day and cooking for 1 and a half hours that means you really want it mm-hmm. and when you realize it that's the point that you can convince yourself to quit it yes so many ye kiya tha agar main aap socho main aaj quit kar dun and tomorrow mera dil nahi lag raha isme so mere paas ab job bhi nahi hai aur main taiyari bhi nahi kar pa raha so i tested myself for 3 months like this and i realized that i really wanted because i've never worked that hard yeah. for anything in my life hmm. and then when that realization came maine apna jo resignation email tha wo january mein draft kar rakha tha and i ended up quitting in july because i had to t- I, it took me 3 months to have the courage to kisi uh, series mein dikhaya hai ye shayad koi series an aspirant shayad series hai usme hmm. dikhaya hai ki he wants to quit and he has written its email but he is not able to send it, send it. so i relate to that but i think people who are working mera ek friend aparush he is he is ranked 29 this year he has cracked this exam while working throughout wow so hen he has al- already been on this show hmm. so you can as well go there hmm. and watch his strategy lovely so um we want to know your everyday routine or your weekly routine that you have set for yourself to crack this exam did you had any routine yes i had i am a very big schedule buff so mai hamesha apna na शेड्यूल बना के रखता था ये क्या करना है मुझे सो माई रूटीन वॉज सिंपल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई यूज टू काउंट द नंबर ऑफ आर्स आई एम स्टडिंग देर आर पीपल हु से दैट डोंट काउंट दैम बट आई डोंट यू नो अग्री विद दैट बिलीफ आई फील लाइक दिस इज लाइक अ प्रोजेक्ट दैट यू आर वर्किंग ऑन ठीक है कंसिडर दिस एज अ डे जॉब बिकॉज देर इज अ देर इज एन अपॉर्चुनिटी कॉज दैट यू आर पेइंग वाइल वर्किंग फॉर दिस या तो वो मॉनिटरी टर्म्स में होगी या वो आपके अकेडमिक टर्म्स में होगी बट यू आर पेइंग अ सर्टन कॉज so if you're paying a certain cost work hard enough to make it worth right so keeping that in mind i used to count the number of hours so my work hour used to be like 10 when i was working in the industry so i used to make sure at least i'm putting in 9 hours in studying and i used to count that because by the end of the day when i see in my phone application uh acha wo jo application mein aap on karoge na to aapka phone bhi matlab it used to become you cannot use it when that that application that is on oh, so you can wow. focus on your studies तो उससे ना आपको पता लगेगा कि आप इफेक्टिवली कितने नंबर ऑफ आर्स एक्चुअली पुट इन कर रहे हो बिकॉज यू नॉट यूजिंग अ फोन यू आर ऑन योर स्टडी टेबल इफ यू आर गेटिंग ऑफ यू पॉज द टाइम गेट ऑफ टेक योर टी ब्रेक कम बैक देन यू सुच ऑन द टाइम सो आई यूज टू टाइम माई सेल्फ बिकॉज बहुत ऑब्जेक्टिवली तैयारी करना पड़ेगा आपको बिकॉज वेन यू आर वर्किंग इन एन इंडस्ट्री यू आर मास्टर्ड बाई समन एल्स योर बॉस टेल्स यू वॉट टू डू and i was working in industry is mein numbers ka kaam karta tha kitni vehicles aaj banengi you know what what hmm. kitni speed hogi line ki and all of that but now you are your own task master hmm. so i used to consider my room as my workplace What? my desk as my working desk myself as my own boss my plan which i used to make and i had a white board in which i used to write it every morning hmm. and i wanted to be damn sure that i'm following that plan if i'm not following that plan I will punish myself with a lot of guilt. So I had a lot of guilt when I'm not following it. So schedule mera rehta tha jaise I used to study mostly at night. Okay. Until the exam is approaching. So when the exam used to approach, I used to reverse my cycle hmm. towards say because my brain has to has to work. Hmm. Bio clock has to work well. Hmm. So I used to sleep at a right 3 and at night. Uh but then I used to sleep at 3 every day. It's hmm. not like main 4 baje tak pad raha hu, 5 baje tak pad raha hu. It was 3 every day. Hmm. And then I used to wake up at like 10. 9 10 then as and when i was up after freshening up my day started with newspaper so i used to be on my table i used to eat breakfast on my table my mother has a big role to play in my preparation because she gave all the support that she could have and because of her only i think i was able to crack it so she used to give me food everything on the table fir lunch time ho jata tha by that time i already started my subject so i used to have this इन माई माइंड की एक प्राइमरी सब्जेक्ट होगा जिसमें मैं पढ़ूंगा दैट विल आई गिव मेजोरिटी ऑफ माई डे टू इट दैट्स अराउंड फाइव आवर्स वन एंड हाफ आवर्स न्यूज़पेपर में चले गए चार से पाँच घंटा वो प्राइमरी सब्जेक्ट पढ़ूंगा दैट कैन बी माई ऑप्शनल दैट कैन बी क्वालिटी और वट एवर आई एम रीडिंग देन आई हैव अ एक्स्ट्रा टाइम टू सॉल्व डेली एम सी क्यूज फॉर प्रीलियम्स आई टू सॉल्व थर्टी एम सी क्यूज एवरी डे थ्रू आउट द ईयर रिगार्डलेस ऑफ वॉट्स गोइंग ऑन मतलब मैं पढ़ा नहीं पढ़ा कुछ भी हो वो तीस एम सी क्यूज मैं सॉल्व करूंगा ही करूंगा हर रोज so now you multiply 30 by 30 you get 900 right so aapke 1 mahine mein 900 ho gaye multiplied by 12 till prelims 
so you're solving so many MCQs. And right? this you started from the first year itself. I started after failing the first, first prelims. Yeah. Second. Oh, nice. So, अब मैंने आप सुनो दो साल में कितने MCQs लगा लिए होंगे. And somehow, even when you don't know that, मतलब हो सकता है आप actively आपको याद ना हो, but in subconscious mind, it's somewhere it you know it sticks to you. Hmm. And when it appears again in your paper, hmm. you might as well mark it right. Hmm. So, मैं उसमें time लगा था. So ऐसे कुछ एट एंड एट एंड हाफ आर का मेरा शेड्यूल रहता था एंड यू बट इट यूज टू वेरी स्ट्रिक्ट फॉर मी एंड यू ऑलवेज फॉलोड इट आई ऑलवेज फॉलो इवन नाउ आई हैव अ शेड्यूल सो माई बैचमेट्स दे मेक फन ऑफ मी इन एच एस आई एफ एस दैट एवरी डे माई एवरी डे लुक सेम मतलब हर रोज मेरा सेम होने वाला है इट स्टार्ट विद द सेम ब्रेकफास्ट एवरी डे आई डोंट ईट फ्लेवर्स एट ऑल इन ब्रेकफास्ट सेम ब्रेकफास्ट एवरी डे क्लासेस के बाद सेम वर्कआउट सेम रूम क्लीनिंग सेम बुक रीडिंग सेम सब सेम होता है सो आई एम सॉर्ट ऑफ शेड्यूल बफ हु कीप्स मेकिंग हिज ओन शेड्यूल एंड फॉलोइंग देम एंड दैट रियली हेल्प्स इट हेल्प्स या सो द देयर इज अ ह्यूज पार्ट ऑफ रिवीजन एंड रिटेनिंग द कंटेंट दैट यू रीड एवरीथिंग दैट यू प्रोसेस सो हाउ डिड यू डू दैट एंड हाउ फ्रीक्वेंटली यू रिवाइज्ड योर कंटेंट रिवीजन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट हाउ फ्रीक्वेंटली आई रिवाइज्ड आई यूज्ड टू रिवाइज विद टेस्ट पेपर्स बेसिकली Okay. As far as the time hmm. of non-exam time is considered, so hmm. exam time I mean, I mean, January to like, no, February to like, May to like, prelims exam time is done. Now May to like, May to like, May's exam time is done. Besides, the other months that are remaining, that's your non-exam time. Okay. In that time, you can experiment. You can work on new things. So for me, us time pe jo non-revision time hai, uska revision to basically test paper se hota tha. For example. I am studying polity. मैंने कोई पेपर लगाया एंड आई रियलाइज जोग्राफी के में नंबर नहीं आ रहे सो आई विल स्टार्ट गिविंग वन वन आर एवरी डे फॉर अ वीक टू रिवाइज जोग्राफी वंस एंड देन आई गिव पेपर अगैन इफ आई रियलाइज कहीं और किसी और सब्जेक्ट में गैप है देन आई गिव दैट वन आर टू दैट सो मैंने आपको बताया था ना कि दिन का एक पोर्शन होता था बड़ा जैसे प्राइमरी सब्जेक्ट होता था और बाकी बचे टाइम में और चीज़ें होती थी वो और चीज़ें ये रिविजन होता था जहाँ मैं वीक हो रहा हूँ एग्जाम आ रहा है तो फिर तो इट यूज टू बी वेरी वेरी Uh, very defined के अब ये subject करना है फिर ये करना है फिर ये करना है फिर ये करना है so I used to follow that and uh, what were your challenges that you faced through your preparation time like क्या क्या challenges आपने face किए जैसे आपने बताया कि you had to cook job भी था उसके बाद when it came okay. to the second year क्या क्या problems आपने face किया okay. can I be candid on this one please <laughs> okay so इसमें ना एक सबसे बड़ा challenge मेरे लिए था कि I was not the part of ecosystem in Delhi I was preparing from Aligarh only एट माई होम ठीक है सो आई वॉज शॉर्ट ऑफ डिसकनेक्टेड विद द पी आई ग्रुप और पी आई ग्रुप के ना कुछ फायदे कुछ नुकसान है कुछ फायदे क्या है कि भाई दस लोग सफर कर रहे हैं आपके साथ बिकॉज प्रिपरेशन इज अ बिग टाइम सफरिंग आई एम टेलिंग यू सो यू फील लाइक ठीक है मतलब इट्स ओके मतलब मेरा मन नहीं है लक्ष्मीकांत पढ़ने का तो उसका भी नहीं है उसका भी नहीं है एंड यू फील अ लिटिल होमली बट वैन यू अलो ऑन राइट दैट्स वैन यू रियलाइज दैट यू आर दिस आइसोलेटेड पर्सन इन द सी ऑफ दिस एस्पेरेंट स्प्रेड ओवर द कंट्री एंड किसी कोने में आप पढ़ाई कर रहे हो हाउ डज इट मैटर यू फील दैट इन सिग्निफिकेंस सो उसके चक्कर में ना मेरे अंदर बहुत स्ट्रेस आ गया था बिकॉज आई डिड नॉट हैव दिस स्ट्रॉन्ग सपोर्ट सिस्टम सो आई हैड टू गो थ्रू अ लॉट ऑफ मेंटल हेल्थ इशूज विच इज अ वेरी स्टिकिंग पॉइंट फॉर मी फॉर एनी वन हु इज प्रिपेयरिंग दैट यू हैव टू टेक केयर ऑफ अ मेंटल हेल्थ बिकॉज इट वेंट डाउन हिल फॉर मी आई वॉज एट वन पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम ऑन मेडिकेशन फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम सो आई Till last year, I think, to 2023 February, hmm. no March, when I gave my interview, उसके बाद I got off my uh, anxiety medications. So, ये और ये I'm not alone. I'm someone who's of speaking course. it from here. Absolutely. But a lot of people you will find and they will resonate with me when they'll watch with this video. कि ये एक point है which people don't talk about because they think that you know this will project them as someone who's weak. But they go through it every other day because in this you are literally working day in day out for 300 plus days to perform in those two hours. The kind of pressure is huge. Usse mental health issues are bound to come in. So you have to you know continue a hobby. जैसे मैं try करता था I play guitar and I used to sing and you know I used to learn all sorts of new thing. I used to work <coughs> work out regularly. <laughs> because of weight gain करने लगते हो इसमें hmm. because you are just sitting and studying hmm. so I used to make up make it make it a point so mental health issues were one of the big challenges that I faced second one was financial issues for me because my father had already retired from 
he was a section officer in AMU. He retired in 2015 and he was on pension. And I was someone who was earning for the family and I decided to quit my job. So that was the pressure on me. And I couldn't do it for a very long time. That's why I wanted to you know, get away from it this year. So there were financial issues bhi the, but I had saved a certain amount of money which I was using constantly. Which ran out, I ran out of that money. Then I uh, took you know, loan from my friends. Uh, who are actually very important for me. Uh, one of my very good friends, Ishan is there, you know, Ashwara is there, uh, Shubham is there. And these people have played a very important part in my story, as well as my brother, Fahad, my elder brother. Because the kind of support that they give you, right, you cannot even ask for that support from other people. So, till date, I am actually in the process of returning the amount that they have given me. <laughs> So, these issues were actually major issues for me. Then, um, I think mental health challenges was one of the biggest stone that I had to move to prepare for this exam. And this is something for, like I just want to say for people who are preparing and going through this, that you can even get through, through this exam even if you're facing such grave issues like I did and I still do, but it has gotten better over time. This is really some sensitive topic that you've spoken about and we're really happy because ये बातें करना बहुत मुश्किल होता है पब्लिक में स्पेशली आफ्टर नाउ इट्स इजियर फॉर यू बट देर आर पीपल यू कैन नॉट टॉक अबाउट दिस सो आई एम श्योर विल रियली हैव सम सपोर्ट सिस्टम फ्रॉम योर कॉन्वर्जेशन एज वेल दैट इज़ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ओके मूविंग ऑन वॉट वर योर मिस्टेक्स दैट यूल से दैट भाई ये तो बिल्कुल ही मत करना आप ये चीज़ें तो बिल्कुल ही मत करना आप जो मैंने मिस्टेक्स करी हैं ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल दो तरह की मिस्टेक्स हैं एक तो मेरे एटीट्यूड से रिलेटेड हैं और सेकेंड टेक्निकल एग्जाम्स की मिस्टेक्स हैं सो एटीट्यूड वाली में लग, मुझे लगता है ज़्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट है कि नेवर हैव नेवर कल्टिवेट अ कम्प्लेनिंग एटीट्यूड जैसे यू में क्या होता है ना वेन यू आर इन साइड देन यू स्टार्ट कम्प्लेनिंग अबाउट एवरी थिंग पेपर मुश्किल आ रहा है सी सैट टफ बना रहे हैं इतना लेंदी क्यों बनाया मेरे मार्क्स ही नहीं आ रहे मैं तो बेस्ट आंसर लिख रहा हूँ समटाइम्स दीज थिंग्स यू नो स्टॉप योर ग्रोथ आप ग्रो ही नहीं कर रहे हो क्योंकि आप कंप्लेन कर रहे हो एंड यू कल्टिवेट शॉर्ट अ लॉट ऑफ नेगेटिविटी इन योर सेल्फ विच डजेंट रियली हेल्प बिकॉज वो हमसे नहीं बोल रहे हैं कि आप आके एग्जाम लिखो इट्स माई चॉइस एट आई एम राइटिंग दिस एग्जाम राइट सो इधर राइट इट विदाउट कंप्लेनिंग और जस्ट डोंट राइट इट दिस मे साउंड ब्रूटल टू लॉट ऑफ यूल बट दिस इज द रियलिटी इफ यू आर कंप्लेनिंग अबाउट समथिंग कॉन्स्टेंटली यू डोंट हैव अ राइट टू कंप्लेन बिकॉज यू हैव चूज इन दैट पार्थ योर सेल्फ यू न्यू इट्स गोइंग टू बी टफ यू न्यू इट्स गोइंग टू बी डिमांडिंग but still you want to do it so now if you are doing it better do it without complaining because you are just making it tougher for yourself so ye attitudinal change aana bahut zaruri hai secondly uh, never thought that you are writing the best answer never think that you are writing the best answers mere sath ek bar hua tha ye second attempt when i wrote my mains i i thought i've written the best mains ever theek hai <laughs> but when the marks came i realized people are writing such better answers than me there are so many better answers than me so the process of learning stops when you real, when you finally you know you reach a point when you think mere maine best kiya hai so wo attitude mat lao abhi i mean strive for excellence try to read as many copies from toppers from others who are writing the answer try to learn something from other as others mm-hmm. as well you are doing well cool but then learn from others as well otherwise you will just fall behind so ye attitude ke base par hai technical mistakes i would just say never वेट फॉर द राइट मोमेंट टू राइट टेस्ट जैसे मैं आपको शुरू में बोला था कि मैं जोग्राफी का ये बुक और पढ़ लूंगा तब लिखूंगा टेस्ट दैट पॉइंट इज नैर गोइंग टू कम मेक अ शेड्यूल फॉर फॉर राइटिंग अ टेस्ट एवरी वीक वंस यूर डन विद योर सिलेबस वंस एंड जस्ट राइट इट राइट अ बैड आंसर बट राइट टू इट राइट अ बैड एस ए बट राइट इट स्कोर बैड इन मॉक्स बट एट लीस्ट स्कोर सो डोंट वेट फॉर दैट राइट मोमेंट स्टार्ट वर्किंग ऑन इट बिकॉज वंस यू स्टार्ट राइटिंग दी आंसर राइट यू रियलाइज अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स दैट यू हैव बीन रीडिंग they you are not even even able to use them so why are you reading them reading them wo tabhi realize hote when you start applying the those hmm. things theek hai so ye ho gaya solve as many mcqs as you can never consider yourself ke over confident to hona hi nahi hai hum logo ke hum mera ye ho gaya hai ye part to nahi aa raha hai aur hmm. never shy away from hard work because this exam is all about hard work you can do as much smart work as you can hmm. but if you have not worked hard you're going to fall out fall of out. the loop absolutely so uh, since syllabus is so vast हम प्रिपेयर करते वक्त ऐसे हो जाते हैं ना लॉस्ट की हम सही जा रहे हैं नहीं जा रहे सो उसका क्या तरीका है टू यू नो नो दैट यू आर ऑन ट्रैक कि हम सही जा रहे हैं हाँ 
ठीक है मैंने अभी एक हफ्ते में इतना पढ़ लिया है एंड आई एम ऑन द राइट ट्रैक ठीक है ये कैसे समझ आया था आपको आई थिंक ये मुझे मॉक टेस्ट से ही आता था बिकॉज इफ यू आर कवरिंग द बेसिक सोर्सेज यू नो दैट कुछ तो तुम सही कर रहे हो इसमें और सोर्सेज जब जाते हैं हम लोग फॉर एग्जाम्पल कभी कभी हम लोग रैंडम बुक्स पढ़ने लगते हैं दर की तब मुझे लगता है दैट शुड बी द पॉइंट वैन यू शुड रियलाइज कि मैं जो पढ़ रहा हूँ ये आएगा कि नहीं आएगा बिकॉज इफ यू सी प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन कभी कभी क्या होता है फॉर एग्जाम्पल हिस्ट्री क्वेश्चन बिपिन चंद्रा से आ गए अब स्पेक्ट्रम पढ़ने वाले स्पेक्ट्रम छोड़ के बिपिन चंद्रा पढ़ने लगेंगे ये किसने बोला कि अगले साल ही बिपिन चंद्रा से आएगा अगले साल स्पेक्ट्रम से आ सकता है सो स्टिक टू योर ओन सोर्सेज डो नॉट गो हेयर एंड देयर सो एज लॉन्ग एज यू स्टिक टू योर ओन सोर्सेज फर्स्ट यू आर सॉल्विंग पेपर्स डू नॉट evaluate completely on the basis of the marks that you are getting but you should be able to solve at least the questions which are coming from the sources that you are reading agar lakshmi kant se question aaya hai to main wo bhi nahi solve kar pa raha that means i am going wrong i need to go back and strengthen my fundamentals so for me mock test were also over always okay. this uh, way to check my preparation and path to pehle hi bana lete hain hum log ki ye kitab hai ye kitab ye kitab ye kitab ye padhna hai and you keep on working on that path again and again do not deviate here and there so you had selected all the books previously ki ha yes. ye mera content hoga this is what i'm going to read and i'm not going to get confused or diverted ha until unless i felt like ki ye book mein se sahi mein bahut relevant stuff hai stuff hai uh, or i can add something a value to my answers if i read this source hmm. i did not change my source at all wo source to raha us pe add kar diya kuch aur but yeah. did not change my source altogether and uh, notes so you always made notes were notes very always made i am the note guy <laughs> you know this trend which started on instagram this guy tech technologies or something it started hua tha so i am the guy who notes i just <laughs> make a lot of notes bahut zyada note making karta hu and notes are my you know weapon to weapon okay. in this war of upsc notes were my weapon i wrote a lot of notes one thing that was your inspiration throughout the three years the three attempts journey I think it was the hope that my and the belief that my mom had in me. So that is one thing. That is so nice. Because my mom so second attempt ke baad I just had four days to attempt my third uh, wala and I was so broken I did not want to write it and I was crying and then my mom told me that uh, ek aur attempt de do and is par you will get a two, two digit rank. So I told my mom ke uh, aapko bolne mein itna aasan lagta hai ki two digit rank aa jayegi. और ऐसे नहीं होता है बिकॉज मैंने ऑलरेडी इतना ट, इतना हार्ड वर्क किया आई डिड नॉट इवन गेट टू द लिस्ट सी सेट जस्ट गिव वन मोर अटैम्प्ट सो आई गिव दैट अटैम्प्ट एंड आई डोंट नो हाउ इट गॉट टू एंड आई गॉट अ टू डे ट्राइंग दिस ईयर बट आई थिंक द बिलीव दैट माय मदर हैड इन मी थ्रू आउट एंड द सपोर्ट ऑफ माई फ्रेंड्स आई थिंक उस बिलीफ और उस होप की वजह से आई वॉज ड्रिवेन कॉन्स्टेंटली दैट इफ दे कैन ट्रस्ट इन मी वाई कैंट आई डू द सेम सो दिस वॉज ऑल अबाउट अकेडमिक्स It was lovely knowing so much from you and your whole journey for three years. Now we have a rapid fire for you. Okay. Are you ready? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you're very quick. The first question for your rapid fire is: If you had a chance to change your name, what would your new name be and why? Aryan. Aryan. Yeah. I don't know. I just. I think. No, no reason for that. No reason for that. Yeah. Okay. If you could know the absolute and the total truth to one question what would that question be Is there life apart from earth is there life on another planet or something I am in this in space a lot space. Interesting What's the most interesting thing that you have read or seen this year Uh I think uh seen me I all my experiences from Labasna Uh, those are the best thing but that's practically last year last year so this year i'm yet to have that experience, experience. i think but i would still count my lavas time this year yeah perfect what is the most important object that you own most important object that i own <laughs> it will be uh i think my family picture my mother and my father and my brother that i have beside my bed all the, always nice What job would you be absolutely horrible at? Dancing. <laughs> What movie has everyone seen but you have not seen it yet? Everyone seen a lot of movies. I don't watch movies at all. You name a movie, I wouldn't have watched it. Well played. No, that I watched. That one. Both are relatable. Yeah, <laughs> 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 exactly. I would say Godfather. I have not watched. Okay. Yeah. What is your dream job and what makes it so amazing? I am uh, in wow. the process to get my to my dream job. Uh, what makes it amazing is that 
it gives you a lot of space to grow intellectually i am set to travel across countries to meet a lot of people to taste a lot of new kind new cuisines hmm. new food see a lot of places so i think that curiosity and uncertainty drives me towards this what is that one thing that people can do it easily but you find it very difficult cooking <laughs> no, i am a very nice cook you should uh, you should try that sometime i am actually good at cooking but um driving i just driving. can't drive and i tried i try to learn <laughs> and i realize itne sare kaam kaise ek saath se ho rahe hain so aapko nahi bolna chahiye i am i am not good at driving okay if you had uh, the world's attention for 30 seconds what would you say the entire world uh i would just say that uh, everyone should consider peace as a word to look forward to because uh, regardless of where you are where whichever country you belong to whichever yeah. race religion caste whatever it should not boil to a point where you come to a point where you want to kill another human being so that should be the last thing that everyone should Beautiful. that should be the you know deal breaker for them so they should consider like is it really worth killing someone if it's not then why are you doing it True. for whatever reasons yeah if you had to work but didn't need the money what would you choose to do i would have been a musician full time musician wow Would you leave your hometown forever or stay in your hometown forever? I leave it. <laughs> with my family, not with them. Of course. Is there any app that you hate but you use it anyway? Instagram. <laughs> What is the stupidest thing you have done on your own free will? Okay, after I cleared after I gave my sec, uh, second prelims, hmm. I went on a 17 day long trip. I was I thought that I'll not clear it. but i ended up clearing it so i wasted 17 days but that is only related to preparation day there are more stupid things i have done in my life <laughs> all right what's something you've tried but that you'll never try ever again something called as fruit chai fruit chai yeah what is that don't try it <laughs> it's bad if you could change one thing about your upbringing what would that be nothing nothing When things break, do you prefer to fix them or replace them? I prefer to fix them, and also um, this idea. They, I read this idea called Kintsugi, which says that whenever something breaks down, you replace them and you join them with a golden lacquer, and not so that you can actually, you know, you can wear that as your pride, hmm. and not hide the faults Fault. that you had in the in your life. Beautiful. What What are you most looking forward to in the next ten years? I'm looking forward to traveling to a lot of places with my mother and uh, there is a certain kind of iconic picture that we both take so I am planning to take it at different locations and make a make an album out of the it same picture yeah the same pose the same basically. pose yeah perfect the What? next thing that I want to the next place where I want to do that will be in Paris I already have wow. that in my mind <laughs> wow what is something that you learned this year I uh, I think I learned to be to be grounded because whenever you know something some good things happen in your life you tend to leave your roots and you tend to become come to a place where you think that you have achieved a lot hmm. but then you look back at your journey and then you realize that it did not happen overnight you have worked hard for it and there is nothing outwardly about it and then you look up to your seniors and you feel like they know so much more than you And regardless and they are still so humble hmm. so what authority do you have to not be humble today if you could learn any language fluently what would la- that language be french, french. i am also you know trying to get as that as my uh, language. language i don't know if i'll get it but let's see <laughs> all the best yeah what is that one food that you would never give up on biryani <laughs> Yeah. So that was your rapid fire. Thank you so much for being so rapid and so candid. You were amazing. This is for you. Thank you. Well, wow, thank you so much. <laughs> and one last thing that we want from you is any last message for all the aspirants out there. जब आप कर रहे थे प्रिपेयर तो आपको कुछ सुनना था वैसा ही कुछ उनके लिए बोलिए. My two cents on this is that it's going to be tough. Okay, this is not an easy place to be. First of all, congratulations on the fact. and pat your back that you have taken uh, 
an initiative to pursue one of the toughest things that you'll ever do in your life till now i think and uh, just don't give up on the roots where you come from find your support in your family and your friends to go through this preparation thirdly please take care of your mental health because that is one of the most important things that you cannot afford to lose because no exam is bigger than your own well being mental or physical so i have seen people and myself uh, who were who who have had a really bad time uh, managing your mental my mental health through this preparation so give importance to this exam but not as much that you'll end up compromising on something that is more relevant to your life and lastly do not give up this is going to be an uphill downhill sort of a graph there will be days when you'll not feel like studying at all there will be days when you feel like studying 14 hours a day take both of them equally never get too happy never get too sad just move on an average path and this exam is actually an exam which rewards the person who is most average out of all the all the people because you are not supposed to be excellent at certain thing you just have to be very consistent and disciplined in doing the most obvious thing that others are doing so all the best for this exam and i hope that you will make it through soon thank you so much for your wise words we were really happy to listen to everything that you thank said you. thank you i'm so sure much. they're going to have a good time watching you thank you and they'll be highly motivated after this thanks a lot thank, thank you. you so much thank you so before we wrap it up i would like you to tag a topper which we always do this is your turn to tag a topper so i want to tag uh, one of my very dear friend madhav bharadwaj he is in ias this year and he will have a lot of good insights to give to people and i would like to see him here as well on the screen absolutely thank you so much thank you so much for being thank with you. us so this was asad zuberi telling you everything that you need to know about upsc exams i hope you liked it if you have any further questions please drop it in the comment section we'll get back to you let's crack it <laughs>